What is up heroes, this is Night Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Pikmin. In the last episode, we finished up the Forest of Hope. You can see all those stars lit up, and we also started the Distant Spring. We actually got three parts in a day, which is really impressive. Uh, this is, again, <laughs> the quickest I've been able to do the game, actually, so it's pretty nice. That said, going forward, we're probably only going to be averaging a couple parts a day, because the Distant Spring can prove to be rather challenging. That said, we've got some pretty solid Pik Pikmin numbers currently, and... I think, I think we'll be able to make some good progress here, so, so let's see. Hope you guys are looking forward to exploring the other half of the Distant Spring. We explored a lot of what was, you know, submerged in the water, but now we've got a little bit of a different agenda. However, the first thing I want to do, actually, is start to pluck these Pikmin. While it is strategic and nice to have them... I don't know, under the, uh, they're still buried, so that they bloom over time, and then you don't have to worry about flowering them up, etc. You have a sufficient, you know, population of flowers. It is a little bit taxing <laughs> to spend all this time plucking them. You can see over this wall, there's quite a few enemies waiting for us. We'll, we'll get there eventually. Promise. We're gonna want to take out, how many are we gonna want to take out? We're gonna want to take out a lot. So I'll take as many as they'll give me right now. And in the meantime, we're going to free up some of our space by getting rid of these. Hopefully we can take out those swooping snitch bugs or whatever. Uh, they, they were such a hassle last episode. There are two of them, I think, flying around. So even when you think you're past one of them, there's still another one waiting for you. But for the time being, we don't really need our reds, but we could use quite a few blues. So the plan is to... Put those back. We'll pluck this, I guess, while they're going back. And so we have, I think, 72 blues. So we'll want to take out maybe even a few more, honestly. And we're also going to grab some yellows, actually. We're going to grab, I think, 13? Yeah. Okay. We'll leave our blues here. Hopefully they don't get struck by the swooping snitch bug. But in the meantime, we're actually going to take advantage. I don't know if I really pointed it out before, but back when there was a bull there over here, there are these two skulls on the side. We didn't really take a look, although it is fairly obvious. Um, there are actually some bomb rocks hidden in here. So the first thing I'd like to do is, I guess, build our arsenal of bomb rocks. I think they have three. I think we can get a total of nine from over here. For some reason, they're, they're being kind of odd about it. It looks like... Well, we got a fair number, I guess. We don't really need a ton. We're not gonna... We're gonna have to come back the next day anyways. Again, it is really helpful to try to use bomb rocks when you can, because they do come back... eventually. Alright, so now we're gonna take up our blue squad and head over this way. It's nice that we've cleared out the area a little bit. We're going to get out of the way there, and we'll bring the, the yellow Pikmin that haven't gotten rocks yet over here. I think there are only four bomb rocks here, so come on. It's right next to you guys. Okay. They're obviously um, trying to pick up some nectar there, but that's okay. One, two, three. Oh, nope, that was a fourth one. Come on, come on, buddy. You got to hurry, 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 hurry. Oof, that was close. A little too close for comfort, honestly. Okay, so we're actually just gonna leave you guys there for now, I guess. And in the meantime... Come on, I just want my blues for now. We are going to fight a Wallywog. Hopefully quickly. No, 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 come on, guys. Okay, that was not ideal. <laughs> <laughs> to say the least. One of the unfortunate parts about fighting them when they're in the water is that you have to use the blue Pikmin, which, I've mentioned in the past, are not as strong as the, the red Pikmin. But, sorry, that's what you gotta do. Oh, we got a nice little uh, stun there. Which should speed things up a little bit. And I think this might be the last cycle. Yeah. Perfect. Alright, so we're going to 
have a few of you guys working on this for now. And we'll have the rest of you working on the other side of the bridge because, unsurprisingly, we have a part over here. <laughs> we actually have a couple parts. I think this part and this part will be our focus. We're going to have a couple Wallywogs to clear out of the way here and a couple barriers to break down. So I think that'll be our main goal. I also, <laughs> this gets me every time. It's the smiley face right here. That's so nice. <laughs> it's so Nintendo. So what part are we aiming to get here? This is the gluon drive. Using the quark-binding metaphysical properties of gluons, this device, well, it's very scientific. And I don't fully understand it myself, but it was very expensive. <laughs> Alamari spent so much money on such complex equipment that he has no idea what any of it does. He's such a character. Alright, so we've got a couple of these, I think, shearwigs. Or grubs, or whatever they are. We're trying to take out, so... Let's do that. Come on. Come on. Perfect. The Pikmin that are carrying our spoils seem to be milling about in one place with their loads. It appears that their path back to the Onion is blocked, and faced with what seems to be an insurmountable obstacle, they have lost their focus. This is unacceptable. I will have to determine what is blocking their way, and do what I can to resolve the problem. So, like I've mentioned before, it's kind of... It's silly, actually, that the, the Water Pikmin won't go through the water to carry things back. But, it's alright, I guess that would make them kind of broken. So while they're working on that, what we're gonna do is go over here and fight some Wallywogs. Okay. So fighting the Wallywogs here is kind of difficult at times because of the terrain. So you have to be really careful, especially if you fight them on the land. Something that I've had trouble with is that when they're on the slopes, they'll slowly slide down, so you'll have to readjust your aim every single throw. Or not every single throw, but every few throws, you might completely miss sometimes. And then, uh, well, that's not good. Even right now, you can see I'm having to adjust a little bit. Come on, just a few more. Is this gonna be it? No, we're probably gonna have to do one more cycle. That's okay, just gotta be patient. Okay, so that is good. They are done. They always finish faster. <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll send more of you guys to work on that. And while you guys are working on that, we'll take this little squad over here. We can have five of you do this. While we take on this last Wallywog. Not last, really. Because I'm pretty sure there are more, but... One of the... Oh my god. Did you see that? It, like, took him out of the air. Get up, get up, get up. Oh my goodness. This swooping snitch bug is going to be the end of me, I tell you. So you can see how both me and the Wallywog are sliding. This is what I was referring to about the... That's going to die about the difficulties of fighting them when they're kind of on this sloped land. So I'm gonna blame the swooping snitch bug on that because I thought I had a pretty solid grasp on how to fight this thing. Up until it came along and literally sniped my Pikmin out of the air. At the very least, because of the terrain, all the Pikmin are being concentrated like right by me. So I'm able to just like really throw them onto the Wallywog, which is actually kind of funny. Alright, so we're going to have you guys working on that in the meantime. Should be able to make some progress. Oh, and they've done quite a bit. Alright guys, come on over this way. We have 57 of you, perfect. Because this guy requires quite a few, quite a few Pikmin. Now nobody slack off. It's so annoying when they like drop off and they make that oh, oh type of sound. <laughs> so they're working on that. They're carrying back the gluon drive. I think in the meantime, what we're gonna do is use these guys. Because there are a couple other things we can bomb in the meantime. All right. Yeah, and so we have six bombs. One, two, three. Come on back. One, two, three. This won't be enough for the wall, but it'll make some progress. And that was all that I was really hoping for. Okay. And now with that, we can put... Or, no, we actually don't want to take my blues back. I want to put my yellows back. 
And I guess we can pluck these guys. Just to free up space and such. I think we're doing pretty well on time so far. Man, I love I love the like color and aesthetic of this place. It's so like green and white in the water. I don't know, I just generally like aquatic environments. Whenever I have the chance to go to a lake or something like that, the scenery can... Just being around the water can be so mood enlightening, you know? Anyways, the gluon drive. I have no idea how this works, but it means the dolphin will again lift off with its characteristic roar. <laughs> That's 23 parts. So, there isn't a whole lot left, which is pretty crazy when you think about it. We're, we're cruising through this game. Let's see if we can flower up the, the Pikmin that we do have with us. I actually don't know if there are even too many more buds left. I don't think so. Come on, guys. Okay, at least they took care of that. Got it out of their system. They're making good progress there. <laughs> that sound effect when, like, a whole bunch of them jump into the water. So I think we'll actually have a good amount of time. We'll be able to get both of these parts, probably, and then we'll even be able to take back some of the corpses <laughs> from all the enemies we killed, which is not always a given. 99. Where's the last one? Anyways, the Zirconium Rotor. This is made from rust-proof zirconium, which is particularly suited to making spaceship parts. I had to pay a lot extra to have this installed, and I suspect the mechanic overcharged me. Olimar has so many people vying to, to steal money out of him, whether it's the salesman selling him an extraordinary bolt or a variety of equipment that, some of which is absolutely necessary, Olimar just doesn't know why, and some of it is completely unnecessary, and he knows exactly why he's enjoying it, and some of it falls in this last category of he has no idea what it was, it cost him a lot of money, and it's probably unnecessary. But, <laughs> that's alright, Olimar, you do you. Okay, so, we've got a whole bunch of people on that. Now, let's see. Are they going to take it to the right or the left? Oh, they are going to take it to the right. So sometimes, depending on where you kill that Wallywog, it'll actually start to go in that direction, which is obviously um, not particularly helpful. Now, this Wallywog supposedly is very resistant to getting picked up. Um, sometimes the Wallywogs, they can have a difficult time bringing them up onto ledges. So I like to have the Wallywogs with a little bit more than seven, just to kind of give them an extra push. I guess we can have one Pikmin on each of these for now. To take them back. Now, we haven't actually killed any of the swooping snitch bugs yet, which is concerning. Because that means they're still out there, ready to wreak havoc when they can. Alright, made of rust-proof zirconium, it is as shiny as new, despite being left out in the planet's harsh elements. Now recover 24 out of 30 parts. Okay, um, with this, we actually have a lot more time than I expected. Um, so we're gonna do this real quick, actually. Let's... I think we're pretty good on our blue numbers. So what I'm actually gonna do is let the yellows take these guys back. Alright, you guys can work on that. You guys can take that. And I guess... I don't know, I mean... What else do I want to do? Oh, wait. Yellows? No! <laughs> My bad. Alright. My bad, yellows. You guys have been looking for to improve your numbers for a long time now, and I'm keeping you from doing that. You guys can take this back, too. Okay, good. So I get this. I guess at this point we can flower up. There's not a whole lot more I really planned on doing today. Um, but, I mean, we also have a ton of flowers. What else, what else do I want to do? Um... Oh, what, there are blues over there? Great. <laughs> I should have known. I should have known I'd have to go on a rescue mission at some point. Ah, <sighs> that's not what I had in mind. Maybe they were victims of the snooping or swooping snitch bug. 
Probably not. I probably just forgot them. Or they were probably just the lazy Pikmin, like I mentioned before. Alright, so we're gonna have to go back out there and rescue them. I guess I can give a sneak preview of what I'd like to do tomorrow. We bombed this. Really, we just need... How many bombs did we use? Six? Yeah, so we don't even need to go that far out to get more bombs, which is nice. Okay, wait, where's the last one? Where's the last Pikmin? Oh, there's another sprout there. Okay, so, well, yeah, we'll go back and we'll pluck that so that we can really work with a full force of Pikmin tomorrow. And I'll give you guys a preview of the area to the left over there. We've kind of cleared out that area down here, which is nice. There's the smiley face. Um, so we don't really need to come around there too frequently anymore. I guess there's one more part here we probably, if we like really pushed, could have gone for. But we can also get it later on and I'm not too bothered by it. So, there's our, our random bud. There we go. The one red. Alright, so we'll put you back. And let's take a look at what's behind this wall. Yeah, so tomorrow we'll have a few bombs we have access to, but look at all these enemies. So first of all, there's a bull bear, there's a puffy blowhog, there's this little maze labyrinth-like area over here we need to work around in. There's another bull bear, there's some water, there's a stupid snoop or <laughs> swooping snitch bug, another bull bear, and then over here we have a little fire trap with, of course, a really nice um, yellow pellet, but then another armored cannon beetle. Over here we have, you know, some, some stuff to work on. And then there's another gate over here. I actually don't think we'll need to deal with that. I guess, I don't know. Actually, no, I can't even kill those things because they'll fly away. What else is there over here to show? I think there's another part over this way. Yeah. So in here is another part. You guys can take a look at it, I guess. At last, my pilot seat. Once I get this installed, my cockpit will finally be back in order. Soon my ship will be starting to look more and more like the dolphin of old. Ah, the memories. Love it. So there's that, um, which we can probably get with our water Pikmin. Or, I mean, our next big task is going to be clearing out all those really tough enemies, so wish me luck. Um, there's not too much going on over here. There's another part up there, which we'll be able to get relatively easily. There are some uh, dumples here to fight. And then there's a little bit of a puzzle segment here with another big part up there. And yeah, that's that's pretty much all there is to it. We're gonna have a couple puffy blowhogs, a few bull bears, and an armored cannon beetle to fight tomorrow. So I hope you guys are ready for that. That was pretty nice. We got to go on a little stroll, right? Uh, normally, I mean, I, I really don't think there was a lot I could have done in that one time period. I could have maybe, maybe pushed to get the, uh, what was it, his pilot cushion back with some water Pikmin, but I think it might even, it might just be easier to save it for another day, honestly. After we clear out that area with all of those enemies. So, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. We boosted our numbers quite a bit. Again, not like we need to, though. Uh, we've got plenty of flowers, so I'm not too worried about not flowering with the last bits of the day. And we got a couple parts, so that's good. Ten days since impact. Hope has begun to well up within me for the dolphin's repair and my own chances for a reunion with my dear family. Tomorrow I shall go forth with a new attitude and continue my exploration in a different region. I hope that fortune will smile upon me. Oh yeah, we got a, we got a preview of that region and it looks pretty tough, but I believe in you, Olimar. So we actually only have six more parts remaining. Which is crazy. We have 20 days to do it, so I don't blame you for your optimism, Olivar. Alright, so without further ado, let's just hop right back into it, I guess. So the first thing we're going to want to do is grab some yellows to bomb that one wall, and then we're going to take a whole bunch of red Pikmin in there and just try to clear things out as quickly as we can. Hopefully, I was hoping we could actually take care of the swooping snitch bugs yesterday, but... Unfortunately, we were not so lucky. Um, yeah, I'll just take three. Actually, yeah, I'll, I'll just go with three for now. We are getting close to that point where 
This is our third day, so a lot of the enemies we killed on the first day will actually come back tomorrow. Which is why I kind of like to clear things out in regions. Meaning I take out the enemies that are precluding my path to a particular region, then I do everything in that region, and then I basically try not to have to come back. Alright. What? <laughs> why did this one not go? I thought I threw all three. There we go. Okay. Time to create a nice war path. <laughs> what? Okay. I thought they were following me, I was, but they were just going to one of the tripod legs. Alright, how many do we want to take? Let's take 70. I think that will... Actually, now we're going to take 80. Really, I should be taking 100 if I'm, if I'm real. You know what? Let's, let's do it. We are... <laughs> We are Pikmin players. Let's see what we can do. Oh boy. Wow, there's so many buds. Maybe we should Nectar up first. That was pretty good. Alright, I think that covers everyone. Okay, now that we are sufficiently flowered up, let's take care of this bull bear. Mash! Mash that A button! Come on! Oh no, 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 no! Come on. Whew. Okay, so part of the difficulty that comes with this area as well... Actually, let's see if we can bait this closer to the... to over here. Oh, we can't. Is he gonna go for his attack? Come on. There it is. Come on, fall. Fall. So, part of what's tough about this is the water nearby and the fact that... Come on, come on. We live in? We live in? I don't know where that one Pikmin is. Maybe... Oh, maybe it's a sprout. I bet it's a sprout. Yep, from one of the flowers that died under that Wallywog. So that's why we can't have maximum efficiency fighting going on here. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna kill this swooping snitch bug. Is what we're gonna do. Come on, come on, gang up on it. There we go. Don't get too close to the water, though, please. Okay, so we got that. That will hopefully make our lives a lot easier. All right, let's uh. Mash here. Come on, come on. You gotta mash faster. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know if you saw, but the uh, the big difference there was that I was actually missing some of my throws towards the end there. So we unfortunately lost one of our red picks. Bible thumbs for that red pick. Alright. This should be better. Let's go. Come on. As long as you keep up the pressure on its back, it's gonna be tempted to try to shake them off, which is really helpful. I think actually it might be helpful to just start sending these guys back. Just taking back some of the corpses. Next up will be the, the puffy blowhog over there, which can be somewhat difficult to deal with. So really, why aren't you guys? Come on. I don't know what was weird about that, but Okay, so we have a still sizable army of 70 reds. Here's what we're gonna do. I guess it's not looking, so we might as well chuck a bunch of red Pikmin onto it. Come on, fall down. Alright, you guys get out of the water. Come on. If we overwhelm it, it'll fall. Come on. That should do it. Come on, come on. There's so many on you. There you go. Okay, so that takes care of most of the, the toughest enemies out here, I guess. So what we'll do is we'll send some of our guys to, to pick up these pellets. Start taking them back to the base. We'll deal with the other ones in a bit. Come on. Because we also 
have an armored cannon beetle to deal with. So, let's go ahead and give this a go. Alright, we got that. Now if I'm really fast, come on. Lay on the damage, come on. Oh man, this is not going to be a one cycle, is it? Nope. Oh, almost. What, did you see that? I think one of them got sent outside of the arena. Okay. And there it goes. Come on guys, get on there. Almost, almost. It's almost dead. There we go, awesome. Okay, so what do we find? We found the bowsprit, or bowsprit? Bowsprit, I think. With this piece installed, my ship should regain some of its sleek shape. I'm pretty sure that's like the, the tip of the ship. So I'm pretty sure there's uh, one random Pikmin on the outside that got thrown off, unfortunately. Oh, there's a super swooping snitch bug out there. It's just like waiting. It's waiting. It's patrolling. I don't like it. Not one bit. At the very least, these guys are moving pretty quickly. So once we're able to take care of this wall, then we should be able to take that part out, which is nice. We've got some of these guys. We'll be able to take care of them pretty easily, though. They actually do quite a bit of damage to Olimar, though. What? Oh my goodness, it snuck in from behind. Alright guys, this is a new priority. I know you want to take down that wall, but this swooping snitch bug has got to go. Alright. Come on. Gotta help out your friends over here. There we go. Once this is done, then we can start taking back some of all this stuff here. Really capitalize on all of the pellets, all of the bodies, etc. I've been playing Pikmin 2 recently, and this would be really nice to have Louie back by the onions. But now at the very least, I don't need to worry about any of those um, swooping bugs or whatever going to the base. Uh, come on. Well, I'll come back for the armored cannon beetle itself. In the meantime, you guys can take the... You guys can take that. You guys can take that. And then... I guess... You guys can help out? Where'd they take... Oh, they're going the long way? Why are you guys going the long way? I swear they could take it out the other way. Alright, well, you guys help out. Can I not? No, I guess not. Why are you following me? I don't want you with me right now. I want you to help them carry that back to the base. If anything, you're making it more difficult, so I'm just gonna carry you along. All right. Let's utilize all of these guys we have at the base. Carry that back. Carry these back. Come on. <laughs> I believe in your guys' ability to coordinate your way through this. Alright. Now that that's a bit closer, we can leave that for the blues later on. Alright, and so that part made it back. I'd like to go back for the armored cannon beetle corpse. 
and maybe a couple of the other pellets that were dropped there, but for the most part, I think we're doing a pretty good job cleaning up, and we'll still be able to probably get one more part. It might be a little bit tight, but again, kind of taking a little bit more of a lax pace. The bowsprit, the so-called face of the dolphin, in point of fact, I designed it. Wow, that's uh, surprising. You don't seem like the most competent astronaut, Alvar. Okay, so we've got a lot going on here. I don't think I actually really need all of these reds now. Um, but I would like to use them to get... Well, yeah, I guess you guys can start taking these back. Come on. I guess what I care most about is the armored cannon beetle's corpse. Because I think that gives 30 Pikmin sprouts. Alright, so there are a couple people that didn't quite make the cut, but they're doing pretty well right now. You guys can carry this back a little bit further. And now we can put our reds back, which will be nice, because we can start to utilize the rest of our Pikmin to gain, you know, boost their numbers. All right, let's take out the blues. All right, move you guys over there. Blues can take that back pretty quickly. You guys can take that back. And that. And now we can put it back. <laughs> and then next up will be the yellow's turn. And we still have those guys coming back with the armored cannon beetle's corpse. We got plenty of yellows now. You guys can start to take back these pellets, and then we're gonna see if we can use you guys to get another part. All right, come on over. I guess we'll pick you up too. So there are a couple different ways to do this. Um, this is the way that I like to do it personally. It's a little bit less efficient, but it just kind of is what it is. <laughs> I don't like to try to navigate this little maze here with such a large army of Pikmin. It's doable. It's definitely doable, but it's a bit tough. So what I like to do is um, kind of get the Pikmin over here, and then I toss them up here. Oh no, a whole bunch of them fell in there. <sighs> Great. All right, well, if I do that, they'll start building a bridge to come on out, <laughs> but that's certainly not what I had in mind for this last bit of the day. <laughs> It's going to be close to sunset now. Alright. Oh no! <laughs> oh no. They don't have enough because when I readjusted the army... When I re -mo like moved around, they all turned behind me. I should have been using the C-Stick. All right, let's at least get it down. <laughs> oh man, not what I had in mind for the day. Come on, it's the UV lamp. The only problem with this handheld light is that it can be too bright at times. I have to remember to wear my sun visor whenever I look into it. Come on guys, get up there, get up there. Come on. Oh my goodness, really guys? Really, really? <sighs> We're not gonna be able to get it. We're not going to be able to get it. That's really disappointing, actually. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I know you guys probably don't really mind that much. Aren't personally offended or anything of the like. But, uh, 
I guess I'm just personally disappointed. Because we were so close! We were so close to getting that part! I wanted to get at least two parts a day. Now we're gonna have to spend some of tomorrow getting it. Are we gonna be able to get four parts in one day? I was really hoping to get this done. The distant spring, at least, tomorrow. Maybe. Maybe I can get it done. We'll see. I mean, we cleared out that area. What? No, we forgot about a Pikmin? What? Where was it? No! <laughs> that makes me so sad. 11 days since impact. If I can just find five more parts, the dolphin will be fully rebuilt. But time has grown short. I must not flag in my search. Even if I cannot recover every piece, I will not give up. Surely some of those parts aren't absolutely necessary. I can almost see my smiling family. Oh, you'll get there soon enough, Olimar, I promise. So, we left behind three Pikmin. They must have been... must have fallen in that one pit. So I clearly underestimated that part. I thought it was one of the easier ones to get. Um, and you only need ten yellow Pikmin to get it off of there, but... I had so much trouble with it. That's embarrassing. But, especially because I spent so much time getting all those corpses back when I could have been getting the part. Oh well, you live and learn. Um, we have almost a thousand Pikmin in total, which is pretty nuts, actually. But I guess we're gonna we're gonna have to live with it. So tomorrow, in the next episode, we're gonna try to get the remaining four parts in one day. I'd like to, I'd like to, but I'm not a hundred percent sure we'll be able to. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you guys think it's doable? There's that one part there, and then... There are a few that are kind of off in the distance. We've at least cleared out a lot of the enemies. I think tomorrow will be our third day here? I don't think those... those Wallywogs won't come back, though. Those we killed on our second day there, so... I think it's gonna be doable, but it's gonna require some very careful planning, so wish me luck. But until the next episode, when we try to get four parts in a day, this is Moon Knight Zero. And this mission is complete.